Hi, welcome to Hatman. I'm Rob DeHaan. We're standing here in our material test lab where we test all kinds of materials. One of the most important questions that we're going to ask you is, what is your material's bulk density? Um, it's pretty easy for us to do here in the lab. We had this box worked up for us. We know that it's exactly 3.8 pounds and it's exactly uh, one-eighth of a cubic foot. So if I weigh this material, 8.6 pounds. So from there, we remove the weight of the vessel, 4.8 pounds times 8 gives us 38.4 pounds per cubic foot. We know you guys aren't going to have this vessel built in your shop, so we've got a solution for that. Let's head over to Matt for more information. Hi, I'm Matt Richardson, and as Rob said, I'm going to show you some other ways to measure bulk density if you don't have one of these, as we've got in the lab. Uh, you can see this is the molasses that we just measured, uh, and we have that same amount uh, in this cup. So if you're out in the field, really anything you know the exact volume and mass of, we can use to get a bulk density, five gallon buckets. Uh, what we like to use is one of these collapsible travel mugs. Uh, if we're working with you and you don't have it, we can send one of these out. And after you measure the bulk density, clean it out and uh, you got a free travel mug. So uh, we already determined uh, 38.4 pounds per cubic foot uh, in the lab. Uh, we measured this after we leveled it off and we got 38.1. So you can see it's pretty accurate uh, one way or the other, even though it's a lot smaller volume. Uh, even stuff like salt. So if you go to our bulk density guide uh, that we can provide some links to, we've got over 20 different types of salt. And uh, this is fine salt and there's fine salt on that list. And it actually says 68 pounds per cubic foot. Um, we measured this again with this cup and uh, actually calculated it out to 58.06 pounds per cubic foot, which is not in line with that fine salt. It's actually in line with sodium chloride, so a less refined salt. That's just a good example of why we can work with just something out of a book, but it's really more valuable to actually get it from your operation as close to where you're actually gonna be processing it uh, so we can size the equipment right. But, this main topic is to show you actually how to use this cup. So it would come in this box. Um, you want to get rid of several pieces when you do the measurement. You don't need the lid. There's gonna be a straw inside of it. You don't need that. Um, there's also gonna be this little holder that you will want to use when you're actually drinking out of it as a travel mug, but to actually measure the bulk density, we don't want it. So what you do, you simply fill this up all the way until it's overflowing, make as big of a mess as you need because it's really important to make sure it's level with the top. You can use whatever you want. We've got a ruler here. This piece actually works pretty well to just get a level top to it. Once you have that, you can put it in a bag and send it to us and we can go from there. But let's say you've got a scale. You want to make sure it's zeroed out. So we have 567 grams. Uh, we know that these cups we've measured multiple and they pretty consistent are 138.6. So 5, 6, 7, 138.6. That means I've got 428.4 grams of material. Uh, conversion factor to get to your grams per centimeters cubed. And that is 0 0.0018365. And so I have got 0 0.7 eight, seven grams per centimeters cubed. And that's because we know the volume of this is exactly 545 milliliters. So if you're in the United States, you actually probably want to know pounds per cubic foot. That's uh, easy conversion times 62.4 to get us to 49.1 pounds per cubic foot. And that is the number that we need to know in order to make sure we size your equipment right. Just with the salt, 62 versus 58 can be a very different size piece of equipment. If it's compressed versus aerated somewhere in the process, it can be an even bigger spin. So really go look at the links that we provide. Where, uh, we go into a lot more greater detail about just how big of a, a deal it can be if you uh, don't get this right. Thanks. Here's a really quick version of how to use this cup. So first, take the lid off. You don't need the straw that's in there. Sometimes there's a piece of paper. You don't want that. 
this little bitty ring that's got happening on it, you also don't want that. Expand it. Take your material, or even better, if you've got a sample point that you can catch it right off the process, but you want to fill it until it is heaping over the top and make all the mesh you need all the way up. Make sure you've got it over the top. Use anything you've got around, a ruler, this little lid or holder piece, level it off. And then at this point, dump it directly in a bag and seal it off and send it to us. If you've got a kitchen scale or something with a little bit of accuracy, go ahead and weigh it. 567 grams. We'll provide some links and some details as well in terms of how you convert this. But uh, first thing you do is remove the weight of the cup. That's 138.6 grams. That'll give you the grams of just the material. Then have a conversion factor that will take that to grams per centimeters cubed and to pounds per cubic feet. Number that we need for sizing this. And in this case, these are 49.1 pounds per cubic feet.